This is the Connect Systems CS580 uh, DMR analog radio. This one is in a UHF flavor, and we're going to talk about that today. guys, before we get started, I would really like you to hit that subscribe button if you already haven't. If you're not a subscriber, hit the little red subscribe button down below right now. And make sure you've turned on the little bell that's below. That'll notify you when I put out new videos. And you want to stick around to the end of this video because I've got a really big announcement and it involves you. Anyway, let's get into it. Today, we're talking about the Connect System CS580. So my friends, let me introduce you to the Connect System CS580. It's a UHF DMR analog handheld. Starting at the top of the radio, you've got two knobs, volume, and a channel selector. It uses a reverse SMA uh, connector much like the Bofang. On the side of it it has a pop-out port where you connect your uh, computer to and it has a proprietary little connector that goes with it. On the other side there's the PTT and two multi-programmable buttons. The first thing you're going to notice when you pick up the CS580 is it is really built well. I really enjoy the, a lot of these DMR radios. This one is smaller uh, than some of the other ones. It has a very, very bright screen, very positive feel to the buttons and to the knobs on it, and it just feels good in the hand. It's small enough to throw in your pocket, and it sounds good. In this review, I'm just going to look at the radio. We're not going to talk about software. The CS580 ships with a 7.4 volt, 2100 milliamp uh, lithium ion battery. And it's a fairly standard size, uh, not real thick battery for its type. Now, Jerry over at Connect Systems said that you could turn this thing on and use it without ever hooking it up to a computer. I didn't exactly find that was the case. Okay, back to the accessories. It has a uh, belt clip. It comes with its own charger and a cable as well as the computer interface. Okay, now getting into the meat of this thing. First thing you want to do is remember program in talk group uh, 4000. That way you can drop all the talk groups on your radio and you could pick up the ones that you want. Also on an open spot you need to program in TG9 uh, on the front end of the thing. And that, one, and that one you can scan everything and I've got a few of the other ones that I like to use. On the top of the radio you've also got a little blinking red or green light. Uh, if you are in scan mode it will continuously blink red. Okay, jumping right into the menu. The first thing you've got are your contacts menu. And within the contacts menu, you have a list of your contacts. You have a manual dial where you can dial up whatever DMR number you want. And you can enter in a new contact. And it's very, very easy once you get in there. The scan menu is very very easy it's on off and you can edit your list right from the radio the zone feature is very straightforward you can pick from either groups of repeaters uh, hot spots or um, or any number of things that you design yourself now something that just pisses me off no end uh, is this it's a lack of a feature when you hit an unprogrammed channel, you can't do anything. It just says unprogrammed channel. It doesn't let you program it, doesn't let you put it into scan or anything. So I think that needs to be changed. The uh, CS580 comes with a fully configurable and preset SMS 
submenu. Now, I haven't been able to get it to send anything. And I don't know if that's because I'm on a hot spot or I don't know why. But it just isn't working as advertised for me. The call log uh, is very straightforward. You may or may not use it. You have a full uh, suite of radio settings here and most of the functions of the radio you can set directly from the radio and you really don't have you don't have to hook it up to a computer so overall i've got a real favorable uh impression of the uh, of this little connect systems radio it's fairly straightforward to use you don't need to program it with the computer every time you want to make some kind of a change on the thing. Uh, it doesn't have that screwy little track ball like the 2017 does. And it feels good in the hand. It sounds good. Uh, it's smaller than some of the other ones that I've played with. So overall, I like it. Things that I'd like to see changed, I would really like to see uh, one of these manufacturers start making a radio right out of the box that shows call signs instead of subscriber numbers. Subscriber numbers mean nothing to me. And before you guys go off and start telling me to install 380 tools or whatever, you know what? I shouldn't have to. I shouldn't have to hack a radio that's brand new in order to get it to work the way a ham radio operator wants to work. So the great debate over VHS and Betamax or DMR, D-Star, Fusion remains. I'm gonna do something that has never in the history of YouTube or ham radio been tried before. So honestly, I don't know how this is gonna work or if it's gonna work, but what we're going to do is we are going to do YouTube Live this Thursday at, what is it, 6.30ish, 6 37 o'clock uh, Eastern Time, whatever 4.30 Pacific Time translates to wherever you are, that's when I'm going to do YouTube Live. But it's not just YouTube Live, it's gonna be YouTube Live with Live on DMR, and we're gonna do Live on DMR on the NorCal uh, DMR talk group. And it's going to be Live, YouTube Live on DMR, and Live on D-Star on Reflector 14 Charlie. So, Remember that, um, 14 Charlie on D-Star, NorCal Talk Group on DMR Brandmeister, YouTube Live on K6 UDA, and we're gonna all see if we can talk to each other somehow, and what we're going to discuss this Thursday live is What's better? What do people like about DMR versus D-Star and how this whole thing fits together? Is one better than the other? Is, is one going to win in the end? Um, I don't know, but we're going to talk about it and this ought to be interesting. So I'm out of here. We'll see you this Thursday live on YouTube, Brandmeister Talk Group, NorCal Talk Group, and D-Star Reflector 14 Charlie. And we'll see if we can all talk to each other and hash out some of this stuff about which digital is better, what we like about all these different things. See you then, 7-3, I'm Bob, K6UDA, and I'm out of here.